Good day everyone. This is a nice foundational fiery flow to energize the body and get you warm. So we're gonna to come to the mat, finding our nice gentle seat. You can rock out the neck if you want to, sway the shoulders, move around in the torso. Just softly close the eyes or take your gaze down toward the floor and start to connect to the breath. Just briefly notice what the breath is doing, how the breath is serving your body. It's depth, maybe it's shallow, maybe it's staggered. We wanna to work to try and deepen the breath especially for today's practice. So take it at your pace. Find what feels good for your body. Softly floating the hands to heart. Maybe you set a soft intention for your brief practice today. And then from here, we're gonna flutter the eyes open. Take the hands in behind us, coming into butterfly pose. So the hands are in behind us to help give us a little bit of support. You can also hang on to the shins or the ankles if you'd like to. You can start doing some circles with the body. During the winter season, these areas of the body tend to get very tight. So very gently open up to a wide-legged forward fold. Now nothing too abrasive here. Just start to shift around in the body. Start to notice the body. Just be present. Feeling where you might be holding tension. Feeling where you can let go and release. And then from here, bring the knees and feet together. Balance on the sitting bones. Softly float the toes. A little bit of a boat pose. Lengthen through the chest and the spine. And we're gonna take it back, release into our butterfly. So warming up, maybe you can go a little bit farther on the second round, getting into those inner thighs, planting hands in behind you or across the legs. Let's take it back into that wide-legged forward fold. Now maybe you can go a little bit deeper here. Use your breath. When you exhale, see if you can take it a little bit farther down if you want. And then we're gonna softly bring the legs together again, floating the toes. And then maybe we wanna be a little more fiery, bring the shins to 90 degrees, release the hands. And then softly come down back into butterfly. So just saying hello to the core, just waking it up, nothing too abrasive. So make this butterfly your own. Again, maybe you come down a little bit farther. Take your legs wide into your wide-legged forward fold. Really open up through those inner thighs. Be gentle on the knees. Softly start to come up. So maybe that third time you're able to take it a little bit farther. Coming into our boat pose. Maybe you parallel the shins. Maybe this time you straighten the legs. Deep breath in through the core. Nothing too crazy with the core. Just waking it up and floating the legs down. Coming back into butterfly. Now we're gonna close our legs and find our tabletop. So plant your hands, get really nice and rooted. Gonna run through just a few rounds of cat and cow, wake up the spine. Inhale, take the crown of the head and the glutes up. Exhale as you round, take your gaze toward navel. Inhale, rolling back up. Exhale, round. Again, paying attention to the weight distribution in your hands. Spreading the fingers nice and wide. And we're gonna find our first downward dog. So crawling the hands out a little bit farther in front of you, come up to the toes, bend the knees, and then let's step it to the top of the mat. Inhale for a half lift. Bring your hands to your shins or your thighs. As you press your hands into legs, make sure that you're rooting down through the feet, lengthen through the spine, fold, bend the knees. Root down and rise all the way up. Nice mountain pose, Tadasana. Feel the heartbeat. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale as you forward fold. Half lift, fold, root down, rise up. So a half sun sal here. Exhale, rain it back down. Inhale as you half lift. Exhale as you fold, press into the earth and rise back up. Exhale, take it down again. So really have the opportunity to connect to the breath here. Inhale, really think about it as you half lift. Exhale as you forward fold. Root down through the feet, rise all the way up on the inhale. Nice victorious breath. Float the hands to heart center. Firing it up just a little bit here. Root down, rise, sink the glutes, lift the arms. Utkatasana chair pose. 
and then exhale forward fold let it go through the legs half lift on your inhale exhale plant the hands step it back find your plank this go around go to knees chest and chin modified chaturanga inhale for cobra just lift the shoulders up or if you'd like to you can take it into a locust pose bringing the arms really straight out beside you press into the mat press it up through half plank and then down into downward facing dog inhale lift the right leg high flex the toes tap the right toes down and then lift working that right glute Couple more here, make sure you're breathing. Inhale every time you lift, you can do this. And you're gonna stick it at the top, bend the knee, bring that heel really energetically in towards the glute, feel that fire in the back of the leg. You're gonna shift the body into plank and bring the knee with you, bringing the foot forward, coming into warrior one. So spin that back foot down, back toes are pointing toward the front corner of the mat. Exhale. Plant the hands, step it back, lower down through knees, chest, and chin. Inhale for your cobra, lifting the chest up, rolling the shoulder blades back, or bring it into locust pose if you'd like to, Just something different. Inhale, press it up, send it back, downward facing dog, come to toes, bend the knees, step or walk forward. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Root down, rise all the way up. Sink it back into your chair pose. Sink the glutes as low as you can. Lengthen through that low back. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant hands, step it back. Lower down through your full chaturanga, or maybe you take knees, chest, and chin again. Whatever feels nice for you today. Inhale for cobra, or maybe upward facing dog feels good now that we've warmed up a little bit. Exhale, curl the toes, send it back, downward facing dog. Fly your left leg high, three-legged. Take a look back at those left toes, flex them towards the mat. And then as you exhale, tap toes. And then lift, working into that glute. Tap toes, inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. And lift, a couple more. And last one here, lift the leg. Bring the heel really energetically in towards that glute, squeeze. Using your core, using the strength from your upper body, step that foot through in between the hands, coming in to warrior one. Root through the legs and lift up. See if you can square the hip. So bringing that left hip back, right hip forward, open through the heart and fold. Step it back, lower down, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale for your upward facing or any back bend of your choice. Downward facing dog. Fly the right leg high again, step it through. This time we're gonna walk the hands out to the corners, launch up into a standing split, working the core just a little bit more and the legs. As you exhale, you're gonna bend that back knee into chest. So bending both knees, Bringing that back knee in really close towards the belly. So really activating the abdominal wall here while strengthening into the legs. Whole body's getting something. Stepping it back, coming into warrior two. So now our hips are nice and open. Flipping the front palm up, take it back into your peaceful. Exhale as you cartwheel the hands down. Come up to the back toes, roll through your vinyasa, knees, chest, chin, inhaling for your up dog, exhaling downward facing dog. Fly the, oh, pedal it out, oh, sorry. And now fly the left leg high, step it through. We're gonna tent the hands at the corners of the mat, lift the back leg up. And we've got that same round of abdominal work here. So bending the knees, bringing that back leg in towards the chest as close as you can. Might feel a little awkward at first. You're moving and you're working a lot of different elements here, trying to keep the shoulders out of the ears at the same time and focusing on the breath. So it's total mind body connection. And kick it back, standing split. And we're gonna bring it back into our warrior two. 
So energy out of the fingertips, sending it back to your peaceful warrior, concentrating on that side stretch. Exhale as you cartwheel the hands down. Step it back, vinyasa through, however you'd like to today. And downward facing dog. Reconnect to the breath here, pushing the ground away with the hand should feel really good. Once you're satisfied, gently softly bring it down to a wide kneed child's pose. Stretching out through those hips, dropping the forehead down to the mat or to a prop. Feeling some nice energy here as it radiates through the body. When you're ready on your time, softly roll up, take the shins off to one side, come down to the glutes. Coming back to our cross-legged position, ending where we met. Sitting up nice and tall, feeling the breath, feeling its new qualities that have been invited into your body. Freshly oxygenated blood flow, clarity of the mind, toning, lengthening, and stretching of the body. So this might be a flow that you might want to revisit a couple of times if you missed anything before. And float the hands to heart center. When ready, softly take the chin down towards the chest. Recircle, circle back around to your intention. Be sure to follow me at Roland Yogi. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome restorative detoxing videos. See you next time. Namaste.